And then you have another cute way to wear your top. I love this one. It's so creative. Hello everyone and welcome to Wicked Weasel's YouTube channel. I'm Gemma and in today's video I just wanted to show you these two sarongs that we have. This is the Oasis Mesh Sarong and we're going to show you how to tie these in all different ways which is really exciting, a bit versatile and we also wanted to tell you that these are a part of our promotion. Um, we currently have the Oasis um, bikinis and dresses and sarongs available online to order for a limited time only at a special price and you get these sarongs free when you spend over 159 USD so head to our website wickedweasel.com um, there'll be a link in the bio and check out these beautiful sarongs and this lovely bikini that we have on sale now So the first way that I want to show you how to tie this cute little sarong, I like to tie mine to the side, or you can have it more in front, and then you just do a little knot like this. And then I personally like to have your bikini strap like poking out the top because I think that's really cute. And then you can also, you could do a bow here, a little bow, or you can double knot it, or um, you can also, tie it and then tuck these around the back and tie it at the back so then you've just got a clean sleek look there and now I'll show you what it looks like with the white sarong that we have So now I've got the hot mesh sarong in the color white. You can see it's a nice mesh material. <laughs> Very sheer. I love this one as well because I feel like you can match it with so many different bikinis and it makes you feel like you're at a resort. It's very like Greek goddess vibes. We really love the white. I love both, but... As you can see, the white also goes really well with the Oasis mesh because of the white details. I really like that. So, as I said before, if you spend 159 USD on the Oasis mesh collection, then you get to choose one of these cute little sarongs either the white hot mesh or the oasis. So not only can this be worn as a cute little sarong skirt, there are so many ways you can style this. So how I would start to style this as a top is put it around at the back of me like this, hold it up even, and then just grab either side like so. And you're gonna tie it up around your neck. So as you can see, I've just taken off my tri-top bikini and I've tied this around my neck at the top and now it's a cute little bandeau. I love this look, this style of top always looks so good. And in this pattern, it's honestly so cute. 
You could wear it with your bikini bottoms to like a pool party or by, you know, by the pool. You can wear, you can actually wear this as a top with like any bottoms, jeans, a skirt, anything. I just think it's so cute. And it's so good that you can style these in so many different ways. Cause then you get a skirt and a top and many things. So I'm just going to show you another way to tie it as a top. So I've got the two bits in front of me um, and it's wrapped around the back of me and I'm just going to tie a knot in the front like so. And you can either have it then hanging down as a top or you could like get rid of these bits, turn it into a bow. And then you have a cute little strapless top but you can also pair with like any bottoms and it would look so cute as an outfit so when you're tying it in the front a way to make it the most supportive is a double knot like so and then it can't move and you can dance all night. So I've got another trick for a top with this sarong. So when you knot it here, you're now going to take these two bits and tie them up around your neck. And then you have another cute way to wear your top. I love this one. It's so creative. So another way to make this a strapless bandeau top that has no um, straps hanging down is tie it like this in a double knot so it's secure and then you're going to tuck um, the rest of the straps under the bottom and then you have a cute little seamless bandeau top you can fiddle with it make it look really good but I think that looks so cute. You have no straps hanging down, you're all tucked in, very saucy little top. Another easy way to tie your top, as I'm going to show you, you're literally just going to turn this around so that these are at the back. So I'm going to turn around to show you. I'm just going to turn the top, twist it like that, and voila, you have another way to wear your top. So then you're just like, you literally just have a bando and then you have these hanging down the back, which you could either tie into a little knot or you could tuck them under like we did before.
So I also wanted to show you that while you have it in this style, you can actually stretch it out and have it as a longer top for more coverage um, against the belly. And then there you have like a long top that you could pair with like a skirt or jeans or pants and make it look cute. And then it's just tied down at the back. Which I also love. Now I'm gonna show you how to do another little way. We're just gonna turn it literally a bit to the side, twist it, and then you pull one side down and have the other side up. So then you've got a kind of like diagonal top going on, which we like as well. So another little fun way you could tie this is just grab the straps from behind you, make it a little bandeau top, grab these straps, and then pull them into the front and create a little knot. Like that. Then you've got another little fun, cute top style. So this is the top turned around from the style that I just was wearing it as. As you can see, it's got a nice cute little shape to it, kind of like wings. And then the straps are just down there, and that's what it looks like in the back. So now I'm going to show you how to create a shoulder strap with your little top. So we've got it like this as a bandeau with the ties in the back. Um, I'm just going to slow, like subtly move um, this tie to the side. And then we're just going to bring one, the front side up and the side up the back. You see what I mean? So I've just pulled um, both tie ups around my shoulder and then we're just going to tie it on the top. You can tie it in a little knot or a little bow. But I'm just going to tie it like this and then you've all of a sudden got a little shoulder strap. As I said earlier, all of these tops can be um, matched perfectly with like a pair of jeans or a little skirt, some shorts, whatever you want really. And 
then just a slightly different way to wear it over your shoulder. So I had it tied here, but I'm just gonna instead tie it a little bit lower on my back. So just tie, just tie it to this, the front strap to the back one about there. As you can see, I've just tied a tiny knot up the top there, and then come to the front, and then you get to spread it over your shoulder. So it creates like the cover of your whole shoulder, which looks very cute. And I said with the excess, we're just gonna twist it around. And then with the excess fabric there, we're just gonna twist it around and around this strap that's at the back. So that's how it looks at the back, and I just think that looks really nice and better than just hanging out. It looks very cute. And then this is the shoulder at the front. Voila. So another way I'm going to show you is if we turn around, you'll notice that one piece is a lot longer and the other one is shorter. And that's going to help us because we're going to, and then actually, sorry, we're going to pull it to the side. So it's like just sitting on one side, the longer piece. And then turn to the front. We're going to take the long piece and pull it over your shoulder like this and then we're gonna pull it across your chest. And like, we'll tuck it in right now, but um, you would usually use a safety pin so that it stays, or if you can tie a little knot, so then it looks like this. And then I like to have, like, I like to have the back like this, just kind of hanging down. So I like to have the back kind of hanging down like that. I just think it looks very cute. another fun way to have it as a top. believe that there is more ways to tie this top so another way is we're gonna start like this um, have it just in the front like so and then we're just going to kind of pull one side above your shoulder like this and then you have it kind of sitting diagonally like that and then I'm just gonna turn around and tie this so you see how it is at the back? And then if I just find the other side, and pull it like this. So it's like a one shoulder kind of top. And I'm just gonna tie it at the back. So we're gonna tie it like so, and do a double knot, which I'm just doing right now. So that it's secure. And we'll turn around, and now we can adjust it. I'm mean, just gonna adjust it to make it look um, nice. So I've just adjusted it a little bit. You can play around with it to make it look how you want. This is how I like mine. I think it's really cute and it would look nice um, with some a little skirt or a sarong on the bottom or some nice pants. It's kind of stylish resort vibes. I feel quite fancy walking around with it like this. It's not the most practical to lift up your arm, but with fashion, we don't need practical, we just care about what looks good. Another way to wear this fabulous sarong is very casually just sling it over your shoulders, like this, over your bikinis, and then you've just got a nice little shawl. And then 
then you can also just drop it down onto your arms like that. Walk around like this. Very fancy. Then we can also put it over your shoulders like that and then just tie it in the front. Like so. Another way to use your sarong is you can tie it around your neck as a little scarf. So just pull around your neck like this and then you're just going to flip that through. You can wear it like this, but I like to flip one of them over so it's kind of like that. Little summer scarf. You just kind of put it to the side of your neck and then we can do a double knot. And then I like to throw one side over the back, like that. And you've got a cute little summer scarf. The next look requires your hair to be tied up in a ponytail. So grab a hair tie and just tie it up. You can do a high pony, whatever you want. So tie your hair up in a ponytail and then you're just gonna pull this up underneath your ponytail and then you can tie a knot on the top. Pull it through, that's not a knot. <laughs> pull it through and then just turn that underneath. So I've just tied it underneath my ponytail and now we kind of have like a long extension ponytail that's colorful. look I'm just gonna grab this scarf and put it over my head and create a kind of gypsy vibe with a headscarf so put it over the top and then tie it in the back you can play around with that so then we've just kind of got like a little headscarf that's matching your outfit which is super cute to the end of our video today showing you all the different ways that you can style your cute little sarongs I just want to remind you that these are currently on a promotion only um, and so they're free when you spend 159 USD on our new collection which is the Oasis collection 
So it's this print. You've got the sarong with bikini. Um, this bottom. The cheeky bottom. We've also got it in a thong. And we've also got a dress. So if you go onto wickedweasel.com, you can see the promotion. Um, it's only for a limited time, so make sure you head there now and you get to choose one of our cute little sarongs. We can choose both if you spend more. Um, and then you can head to our video, this video, and you see all the ways that you get to style it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our creative fun videos. And leave in the comments below if you think of any other creative ways we can style these. And also let me know what your favorite style was. Thank you. See you next time. Mwah.